Big Scar was one of the hottest new rappers coming out of Memphis. He links up with Gucci Mane and was on his way to the top of the game. The fans were shocked after Wap confirmed he tragically passed away at just 22 years old. Even though he was so young, Scar already lived a crazy life. And today, we're breaking down the wild story of another Memphis rapper who was taken too soon. Let's get right to it. Scar came up on the south side of Memphis and was surrounded by crime and violence every day. His parents were really involved early on, and he was raised by his grandma till he was around 13. After she passed away, Scar moved in with his dad, and that's when he hopped off the porch and got active in the streets. He dropped out of school and joined the Grape Street Crips, and Scar says his pops is the one who taught him how to move. In his interview with Dirty Glove Bastard on Off the Porch, Scar said he did everything he could do in the streets. According to him, The best thing I ever did was drop out of school and went to the streets. Because it taught me a lot of life lessons that you know, school don't teach. He said all he needed from school. I don't have to know how to read and count my money. I, mean, that's, <laughs> I ran with it. There wasn't nothing else they could tell me. Eventually, Scar and his homies got into stealing cars. One day when he was 16, he was driving a stolen whip with his friend and a couple girls. He tried to beat a yellow light and smash through the intersection. But another car was turning at the same time, and Scar ran right into him. The crash sent him flying through the windshield, and his face got sliced up from the impact. That's how he got the name Big Scar. He only spent a couple of days in the hospital, and he was right back on the streets. Back in the day, Scar never wanted to be a rapper. He said he always knew he'd be rich someday, but he never expected it to come from the rap game. His homie Baby K was always rapping though, and eventually, he inspired Scar to hop in the booth to test the waters. Scar spent $20 to record the track, make a play, then dropped another 200 to film the video. It was his first time in the booth, but the song was a hit. It started popping off and racked up around 50,000 views on YouTube. But then a YouTuber named Tommy Craze reacted to it and took the song to the next level. Scar hit a million views in no time and got the attention of Gucci Mane. His cousin Pooh Shicey was already working with Wap, and that's how Scar linked up with him at first. Pooh put him on the phone with Gucci so they could chop it up. Not long after, he was on his way to Atlanta to sign a deal with 1017 just off of one track. Linking up with Gucci was huge for Scar. He grew up listening to him, and Scar says Gucci was a lot of his family members' favorite rapper. Scar told Dirty Glove Bastard, Like we was just on a boat shooting the video of food, and I had to go in the motherfucking bathroom and hold my breath and see if this shit real. <laughs> <laughs> Blowing up off of your first track and signing with a legend like Gucci is wild. But Scar almost died or he could take it all in. In his Off the Porch interview, he talks about how much hate there is in the hood for no reason. That's why dudes like Boosie always tells rappers to leave their city after they blow up. Scar knew he shouldn't be going back to Memphis, but it's tough to stay away from the place you spent your whole life. And in 2020, Scar went back to visit and ended up getting shot and almost dying. It's not clear exactly how it went down, but the bullet went through his hip and traveled up into his spine. It was so bad, the doctors had to remove his appendix. But Scar only spent a few days in the hospital and bounced right back. Instead of letting the shooting get in his way, Scar kept it pushing and went even more viral last year with the tracks of Wicey Boys featuring Pooh Shiesty and Fujiano. Then his debut tape dropped last April and hit number 25 on the Billboard 200, which was huge for somebody who just hopped in the game. He had features from Gucci, Fujiano, and Chanton, and his homie Baby K. And Scar proved to everyone that he had the skills to carry a full project. Back in February, he released a deluxe edition of the tape and even secured a feature with Offset. Scar was already popping off, but he got even more shine back in June when he was featured on Double XL's freshman class of 2022 with Wick, Ken the Man, and another Memphis rapper and Big 30. And just a couple weeks ago, Key Glock announced that he was bringing Scar with him on his Glaucoma tour that started in March. The tour would have taken Scar across the country and exposed him to a whole new audience, but unfortunately, he won't have the opportunity. On Thursday night, December 22nd, the news broke that Scar had tragically passed away. No details have been confirmed, but the police say that foul play isn't suspected. His uncle told TMZ that Scar accidentally overdosed on prescription pills while he was at his girlfriend's house. He also said Scar was battling depression and that his grandmother's death had a major impact on him. Scar was only 22, but already went through a lot of trauma. It seems like he turned the pills to cope with it all and it tragically ended up killing him. Gucci confirmed the news on Instagram and wrote, This hurt. I'ma miss you, Big Scar. Scar's friend and label mate Enchantin posted on IG too and said she can't even talk right now. And Big 30 hopped online to pay his respects too. He posted a picture of him and Scar together and revealed that they had just spent hours together the night before he died. Scar had enough talent and momentum to carry him into the mainstream spotlight. Everything he dropped picked up more buzz than what came before it. And it's just wild how fast it all happened. He went from hustling in the streets and not even thinking about rapping one of the hottest new artists in Memphis almost overnight. You don't see a lot of dudes signing major deals off of just one track, but Gucci saw his potential right away. The rap game has been losing young artists at a rapid pace, and unfortunately, Big Scar is the latest. Memphis just lost Young Dolph last year, and now another star from the city is gone too soon. 
Rest in peace to Big Scar.